I stuck my hand in there to feed me, feed him, and he ran across and lunged at me. Because he's evil. Yep, that's evil incarnate. Brian, he's evil. <laughs> You're so mean to me. I don't want this to become a channel of nothing but storm debris cleanup and disaster recovery. But the reality is that's going to be our life for a little while. I've been meaning to do a rabbit update. We don't have any new bunnies. That's probably why I haven't done any rabbit stories in a while. But before this storm happened, I had started filming a little bit about our rabbits again. So while I'm doing other things, I'll probably throw in some clips of our rabbits before the storm. Right now, I'm going up there to trim a broken branch. I've got two ladders. This one is just to kind of help stabilize the tall one. It's a little, it's a little rickety, a little tipsy. It's not the best way to, uh, to work up that high. So I wanted just a little extra stability with this other ladder down below. Wish me luck. Squirrel, our friendliest rabbit, has been acting up lately. He's figured out how to escape from his cage. I just need to put better latches on it. There was this one morning when I was heading out to work. It was before the sun came up. Anyway, as soon as I step out the door, Squirrel hops right up to me, want, wanting a little attention. So I put him back in his cage. I went back inside to tell Wendy that Squirrel had gotten out again. And sure enough, when I came back out the door to go to work, he was out again. It's a game for this little squirrel bunny. And it wasn't the best timing because I was trying to get to work. There was another day that Squirrel got out and we couldn't find him right away. And this was very unusual because as I've said before, Squirrel is more motivated by attention than he is by food. 
so he just always wants to be right where we are. We found him a little while later over in the girl goat pen. Somehow he had gotten through or under the electric fence and he was chasing the goats around. I saw Rogue headbutt him gently and Squirrel just headbutted her right back. It was the funniest thing. Since then, Wendy has started taking Squirrel over there intentionally to let him run around and dig and be a happy rabbit. I still don't think the goats know quite what to make of him though. Good to go. Come on, let's go look at the bunny. Get him, get him, squirrel. <laughs> Little hug monster. A little hug monster. Nothing to be afraid of. Get him, squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> Describe what that behavior was. He's just flicking water off of his feet. Why does he want water off of his feet? Because he doesn't like to have his feet be wet. Uh -huh. When he gets out of his cage and he gets his feet wet, he always just flicks them. <laughs> 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 it 
It might be safer over there. It might be safer over there. shame to lose so much of this really really decorative maple tree that we had out here but at least we have most of it left it's still got a good shape to it so over a little time I think we'll just get used to its new size and it'll be just fine We don't have any plans to breed any new rabbits in the near future. Right now, we've got more rabbits in the freezer than we know what to do with. Autumn here would make the best bunny mom in my opinion. Marigold, who was our most expensive breeding rabbit, just never was really the best mom. And Daisy, our very first rabbit, has had kind of small litters the last couple of times. So Autumn here, who we bred ourselves, has just been great on that front. And she's always been a good rabbit. She still likes leaves. Indigo, come here. <laughs> no, this is not a game. Come back. Come here, Indigo. I know there's snacks out here, but you have to go back. Okay. Come on. Get back in there. Bad girl. Ugh, stubborn goat. Come on. Get back. No. No. Come on. No. Rogue. She's 
<laughs> there are a million snacks for the goats out here. Come on. All right, come on, come on. Here they go. Come on, here they go. Oh, maybe you'll follow Rogue if Rogue is going in. Come on. There we go. In you go. Monster. I have to warn you, don't be too terrified of this bloodthirsty, vicious beast. He's trying to get me. He's gonna lunge at me. <laughs> Wendy? Oh, careful. Oh. I know, little bunny monster. He's gonna get bit. Oh. He's gonna bite you. Yeah, I know. You're a mean bunny. You're a mean bunny. He's evil. He tried to bite me again yesterday. You did? Yes. How close did he come to biting you again? Well, I stuck my hand in there to feed me, feed him, and he ran across and lunged at me. Because he's evil. Yep, that's evil incarnate. Brian, he's evil. <laughs> You're so mean to me. Now, help me do my chores. <laughs> okay. Terrible. Monster Bunny is in bunny jail, but it's really not much of a jail. Monster Bunny is the only bunny that gets the fresh grass to eat. Yeah, all the fresh grass you want to eat. Squirrel here won't be going anywhere once I get these new adjustable bolt latches on. I bought the smallest ones I could find, but they were still just a little too large for the width of, this, uh, of these pieces on the hutch. So I had to use a hacksaw to cut off a little bit of the tab. I'll show you what that looks like. These should go on pretty easy.
Hello, little squirrel. Hello, little squirrel. Yes, you need some attention. It's for your own good. You need to stay inside. Get in. There you go. portable shade umbrella has been more useful around here than I would have imagined. Being able to keep the generator, being able to keep that generator dry just makes it a so much nicer when I have to change the oil or the gas. That umbrella setup was left here by Mike when I bought the place. I'm not sure I would have thought to buy something like that for myself. So I'm really glad that it's here. All the ice has melted out of the trees and it's off the roads, but we've still got a significant amount of ice right here on our place. It's just insulated kind of in the shade and under all these pine branches. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. It'd be nice if it all melted away. There is a nice little hopeful sign of spring though. And I just noticed this today. The first little flowers of spring, little crocuses. Are starting to pop up. Good to know things are gonna things are gonna change. The seasons always do. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's just such a sweetie, isn't he? He's a good rabbit. He's the best one.